first, and then we'll do questions on Zoom if we have any. Are you ready to go? Sure. Room, Coach East. Coach, I guess we're having kind of seen the biggest growth in your unit over the first nine, ten practices. Uh, right now, I uh, feel good about the way they approach practice and their their attitude when they come in to learn and the effort that they're giving. So th those are the things that were very important to us to get that going properly. And, uh, I've appreciated the way that's going. And then when we talked to you last time, you spoke about veteran leadership being important. I guess what did you kind of see from Jared and Lug and some of those guys? Yeah, they're 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 leaders, and and they know how to lead. They've been in that role before, and the team uh, responds well to them. So we've got guys that people respect, and when they speak, people listen. And then. Balancing kind of cross training guys in various positions, but also giving them a good evaluation. I guess, how do you find that balance? You know, you have to pay close attention. Is there a point where the player being moved? is taking a step back, so you have to really study the film, which we do, and make sure that if the guy's, you know, not playing like he's capable of playing, then we'd rather, let's okay, let's leave him at one spot and let him grow. So we're always evaluating that. And then, yeah, you've had several players come back and be able to get around these guys. Like, what does that just mean to you, just to have those guys be in the Yeah, it means everything, because the guys coming back appreciated their time at Notre Dame, appreciated the things that they learned while they were here. But most importantly, they, they love Notre Dame and they want to see Notre Dame be successful. And particularly this offensive line, um, their uh, love coming back and helping. And that's a, uh, it really means a lot. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to our players. And then how would you just kind of assess how the new staff has kind of gelled together and how you guys work together so far? Uh, very well, you know, Coach Freeman, uh, knows what he's doing, knows how to put a staff together. Uh, he's uh, a great leader and is very genuine, and he hired people that are very genuine too. So uh, everybody's about the team and getting it right and not about themselves, which is uh, tremendous to be around every day. Uh, you guys are bringing back a good amount of experience and leadership at the group. What does that do for a team that you see, especially at this particular position? It's always helpful when you get into the tough situations that we know are coming and when things get hard and uh, you have to have people that help bring out the best in everyone and it's it's nice to have guys that have been there and experienced and realize that hey that, that was one play let's not let it bleed into all the other plays let's refocus and go get this next one and um, it's hard to do unless you've been there and we have some guys that have been there. Speaking of the guys that have been there, obviously you talked about JP is not full go right now, but as a leader, what have you seen from him and some of the other uh, veterans? Yeah, uh, you know, he, he's got a, he's a guy that uh, has earned the respect from his teammates, and you can lead once you have the respect of people, and he does that, so he's uh, he's key to help bringing out the best in each guy, and it starts with himself, and we'll get him healthy, and then we'll push forward from there. How often do you find yourself drawing on a pro experience when talking to these college guys? How does that help in um, It's the same sport, so it's, it, it's really not... Um, it really don't doesn't really come into play much uh, because it's it's the exact same thing that I was doing here really before. Uh, so uh, it, it was good for me just to have that time where that's really what all I was working on. So, but uh, I think it made me a better coach and. Uh, and hopefully that translates into how they play. And a couple of guys mentioned the emphasis on togetherness as a unit. Why do you think that's important? It's uh, one of the most important things. They have to uh, care more about the group than themselves. They have to be together. They have to see things through one set of eyes. Can't have, can't have individuals uh, up there. They have to be all on the same page, work out issues, and have themselves uh, dialed in on each snap to have success because it takes um, it is, it's the ultimate team game is football anyhow and then when you boil it down to that group that those five guys have to be doing it exactly the same if a one guy is going off what we I thought this then it's no good we, we all got to see it together
And then the last one for me is uh, you got a decent mix of, uh, like I said, veteran guys coming back, but also some very young talent as well. Is it different coaching up both of those types of groups, or is it mostly the same approach? Uh, no, it's very different. Um, your experience a lot of times dictates that. The more times you've done something, we're all probably better at, better at it. And so the younger guys take a few more reps and more explaining and more uh, helping them understand why we're doing something and what creates an adjustment and why would we block this way against this, this particular look. And the, so the less you've done that, the more work you need. So we've spent a little more time with those guys on that. And Coach, I see you spend a lot of time, speaking of those younger guys, you spend some time with guys like Blake Fisher um, after practice, even after the you know, offensive line is done practicing after the last horn. You know, what's been the relationship you know, that you created with him over this uh, short amount of time that you've been here? Well, you know, you can see that there's a very talented player there and somebody that's learning uh, on the job and learning how to how to be the best player he can be. And normally those conversations are about fundamentals, things that we saw in practice, things that we're trying to emphasize, getting our technique to be tremendously consistent. And the games for the offensive line are, are, are won and lost on, on the ability to be fundamentally sound and consistently have winning technique, technique that gives you a chance to, to be successful making your blocks. And so that's what a lot of those conversations are about. And um, when you look at you know the amount of people that you've helped, the amount of, amount of players that you helped get to the draft and make it to the, end of, make it to the NFL pro level, um, guys talk about Quentin Nelson coming back and Zach Warrior coming back, you know, just to show their face and help them out mentally or physically on the field. Uh, what's that mean to you as a coach and, you know, what you can provide to them as far as improvement on, on and off the field? Yeah, the, the, those those visits are so valuable because it's kind of like, you know, growing up and your parents would tell you over and over something and you'd be like, yeah, sure. And then your uncle or a coach or somebody would say the same thing. Oh, that's great. Huh? Suddenly you're doing and, and so we experience that a little bit with those guys. And I don't care how they get it, as long as they get it. But that's one of the things that Zach and Q and some of those guys really helped deliver to them the message that what they learned when they were here, the importance and the detail of how we block uh, is tremendously important to our success. And sometimes you know, they, they lose sight of that and those guys dial them back in on it has been tremendous and very helpful. And what's been the, um, I guess, the improvements that, you, that you've seen in this offensive line ahead of this blue and gold, this blue gold game? You know, have you seen, you know, what you, exactly what your expectate, ex, what your expectations are over, you know, for the next couple of weeks? Uh, we're a work in progress. We've made, we've made, we're, we're slowly improving, and our expectation is that we keep improving. But uh, we're on the right track. I'll say that. And uh, from your first stint to uh, now, what's there been the changes in the culture that you're seeing in this offensive line or in this, in this football team in general from your first stint to now? Well, I, uh, look, looking back, uh, that's a few years. There's, um, I, I would say, this group is learning how to uh, match the standards that the groups before them have had, and I think. We had ground to make up there, and we're slow. Like I said, we're we're inching our way forward, and we're making progress, just like that first group did. It took us all through spring and training camp to, you know, understand exactly what was being asked of them, and then how they could do it to the best of their ability. And we're we're in that. That's a process right now. Good time for one question from Zoom. Brian Driscoll, go ahead. Coach, you know, you get, you get asked a lot about, you know, former players that went back, like Q and, and, and then Robert Haney is back. But, but how is it valuable, or I mean, I'm assuming it is, but having a guy like that that's actually coaching with you and Chris Watt, like what's been the value of having him kind of being there on a daily basis, not just as a visitor, but sort of as a, in, in a coaching role? Is there, what's the value to that to your players to have? Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's tremendous because he's there every day. And like you said, those other guys are – are, are come in and give you a little, um, a little pep talk and a little reinforcement for what you're doing. Whereas Chris is here every day and has an impact on him. He's a tremendous coach. He really understands exactly what we want taught. He understands how the fundamentals that we teach are very specific and very detailed, and that there's not really any room for. Um, 
doing your own thing there. So he, he understands it because he did it himself and he feels good about how it worked for him. And so his impact is significant. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate right, it. You got it. Thanks, Coach.